Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Words of Worship. You know, I hope that you are following along in our church-wide Bible reading program. Now, if you're not a member here of our church or you don't have a copy of the reading schedule, contact our church office and we will help you get a copy so you can participate in the daily readings of Scripture along with us. You know, last week, one of the readings was from the book of Deuteronomy. And in chapter 6, Moses is reiterating the commands, the decrees, and the laws of the Lord. And these laws and decrees were given to the children of Israel as a gift, and obedience to them was for their own protection. Now in verse 5, the Bible says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Moses tells the people that they are to talk about these laws all the time. Talk about them with their children. When they sit down to eat, when they walk, when they lie down, when they get up. They are to reflect on them all the time so that the laws and decrees of the Lord become a part of their daily lives and their habits and they don't forget about them. But then in the middle of the chapter, there's a warning to the children of Israel. It warns them that when God gives them the land that he has promised and they have flourishing cities and houses filled with all kinds of good things and all their needs have been provided for, they should not forget God and his laws. The warning is this. Then when you eat and are satisfied, be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You know, that's a warning for us too. Like the Israelites, we need to live a life of righteousness, a lifestyle of obedience, awareness, and service to God. And we need to be careful that we don't let our possessions, our comforts, our abilities, our titles, our feelings of self-sufficiency push God aside. Jesus reminded us of the importance of staying in a right relationship with God. John 15 makes it clear the need to remain in him or cleave to him. Jesus says, apart from me, you can do nothing. Now let's make sure that our stuff, our activities, our abilities, our thoughts of self-sufficiency do not push God out of his rightful and deserved place in our lives. Apart from him, you can do nothing. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Kevin. And I hope to see you again next week.